Welcome to the Cybersecurity Vulnerability Remediation Plan presentation. In this presentation, we will discuss the importance of vulnerability remediation in cybersecurity, its benefits, and the steps involved in creating a successful remediation plan. We hope this presentation will provide with valuable insights on how to develop and implement an effective cybersecurity remediation plan for your organization. This slide introduces the importance of vulnerability management in ensuring the security of information assets. It highlights that identifying vulnerabilities in a timely manner is crucial to take proactive steps to remediate them before attackers can exploit them. The slide emphasizes that failure to identify and remediate vulnerabilities can lead to costly data breaches and damage to an organization's reputation. It also explains that vulnerability management is necessary for regulatory compliance and industry standards. This slide explains the process of vulnerability assessment and the tools used to conduct it. It describes vulnerability assessment as an ongoing process that needs to be conducted regularly to keep up with the latest security threats and vulnerabilities. The slide lists the tools used for vulnerability assessment, such as network scanners, vulnerability scanners, and penetration testing. It emphasizes that the assessment should prioritize vulnerabilities based on their severity and potential impact on the organization. Finally, it stresses that the results of the assessment should be used to develop a remediation plan. This slide provides more details on the different types of vulnerability assessment tools. It describes network scanners and their role in identifying network devices and their applications and services. The slide also explains vulnerability scanners and how they identify software and operating system vulnerabilities and suggest remediation. It then introduces penetration testing and how it simulates real-world attacks to identify technical and human vulnerabilities. Code analysis tools and social engineering testing are also briefly mentioned. This slide focuses on the remediation plan and what should be included in it. It emphasizes that the plan should include specific actions to address each vulnerability, such as patching, configuration changes, or software upgrades. It also stresses the importance of establishing responsibility and accountability for each step of the remediation plan. The slide highlights the need for a process to verify that each vulnerability has been remediated and that budget and resource allocation should be considered when developing the plan. Finally, it explains that the remediation plan should be reviewed regularly to ensure it remains effective in addressing new and evolving threats. This slide introduces the importance of configuration and change management policies and procedures in preventing vulnerabilities. It emphasizes the need for consistency in how changes are managed across the organization and the use of automated tools to track changes and maintain a comprehensive inventory of all assets and configurations. The slide then introduces the concept of a change advisory board, CAB, and its role in reviewing and approving changes. Version control and proper documentation are also stressed. This slide highlights the importance of implementing strong authentication, access controls, encryption, intrusion detection and prevention systems, and security awareness training to prevent vulnerabilities. It emphasizes that unique credentials and two-factor authentication can prevent unauthorized access, while access controls can restrict access to sensitive data and limit privileges to necessary personnel. Encryption can protect data in transit and at rest, while intrusion detection and prevention systems can monitor network traffic and prevent malicious activity. Finally, security awareness training can educate employees on security risks and best practices to prevent human error. This slide summarizes the key points of the presentation. It stresses the importance of identifying and remediating vulnerabilities to protect against cyber threats. It reminds the audience that vulnerability assessment is the process of identifying, quantifying, and prioritizing vulnerabilities, and the tools used for vulnerability assessment. The slide then emphasizes the need to prioritize critical vulnerabilities and establish timelines for remediation in the remediation plan. Finally, it highlights that configuration and change management and security controls can help prevent future vulnerabilities.